Hello techies! Welcome to our brand new video series focused on helping you get the most of your experiences in life. Before we start the video, let's know about Uptalk. Uptalk is a live, interactive platform for software training, furnishing robust personalities who could take on universal business platforms. All spreadsheets. Okay, all right. So then let's go back to this slide. So when hiring you can use an existing pre-hire or add a new pre-hire. Either way, you have an opportunity to record the pre-hire source information. So when you create the pre-hire you have the option to record the source of that pre-hire. Where did you get the candidate from? Right. Did you? Get OK. Let me show you in Workday. What I mean by that, the source of the candidate. It is very important to know the source of the candidate, isn't it? Why is it important? Can anyone tell me? Why is it important to record the source of the candidate? What do you mean by the source of the candidate? Is it like? Where are we getting the candidate from? Is it a referee or is it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that is the source of the candidate. So where did you get the candidate from? How did you know about this candidate? Right. And sometimes we also ask the candidate, how did you get to know about this position? Right. How did you come to know about the organization? We ask that to the prospective hires right. Why do we need that? Why do we need that? Do we care? Yeah, I don't care. Or should we care? We should care because the future forecasting. So if I'm getting somewhere, like some NGOs, I'm getting the amount so that I'll be having it. So far. I need more in future. Also source, not for the sake. So that I easily go and take from there. Absolutely, so we should know what is our majority source. From where are we getting our maximum people? Or let's say, if you hire someone and that person turns out to be very good, right? Maybe in the interview you thought this person is okay, but when the person actually works you think that this person is amazing. So now, if I need another person like this worker, where would I go? I will try to go to the same source, right? The same source that this person came from. If it is a referral, let's say it was referred by Peter. So I will go to Peter and say, Hey, you referred that person. That person was excellent. Do you know any more person like this worker? And then Peter will say, Oh yeah, there's one more friend of mine who is exactly like this person. So I will get that person right. Or maybe if you got this worker from a particular college right, so you will go back to that college and try to get another worker who is more or less similar. If you got this from a job fair, then in a particular city, then you will go back to the city and try to do the same thing again, isn't it? And then you will try to analyze that. Okay, where are we getting our best candidates from? Is it from colleges? Is it from a rival company, right? Or is it from something else? Like there used to be a company called Aprio, okay. It used to be a workday partner. Then it was acquired by a light later. So Aprio, so all the consultants from Aprio, we found them to be very good. 
like when they joined different partner firms, we saw that the candidates from April were very. They were a 40, 45 people company, but then each of those workers were very, very good right. So now it is a pattern like if we see somebody from April, we will say, hey, why don't you refer another person from April? Because now we know for a fact that candidates who used to work with April, they're very, very good right. So we know that. So similarly, you would try to analyze your trends and similarly, you will spend more on that. So organizations need to be aware of where they're getting their best workers from. Is it from LinkedIn? Is it from a reference? Is it from job like any other job portal? Or is it from, say, job fairs or outreach programs? Community outreach programs? Where are you getting your best candidates from there? You would want to go back and get more of such good candidates, right? So that is why recording the source is very important. Okay. So if I create a pre-hire, okay, they create a pre-hire. You see, it will ask for the name, etc. But there is a place which says source. It is not mandatory, but you have the option to record the information. So is it an internal? Okay. Is it an internal career site? What is an internal career site? Company will have some kind of a website, knowing that there will be a house, some career path or career option. They can apply from there. That might be an internal source. So who all are applying to the internal career site? who can apply to an internal career site. Existing employees. Existing employees. Yes. Existing employees, or I mean existing workers, let's say. It can be a contingent worker also. Sometimes, they are also allowed to apply for this job. So existing workers will use the internal career site to apply for positions. Yes, that is for internal. And then community network. So you have like Facebook, LinkedIn, Spock or Twitter. You got the candidate from these places. Okay, and maybe it can be from a recruiter or an agency. Right. An agency can be there or a recruiter. But this is also quite common. The agency. You outsource it to an agency, right? Agencies are good at headhunting. So there are typical specialized agencies who can hire it for you, okay. But in agency, there is a cost involved. It varies from country to country, but typically it is like I don't know, 8%, 8.5% or something of the candidate's compensation. So let's say you get a candidate for $100,000. You have to pay the agency around $8,300 something dollars one month's compensation you have to pay to the agency. Something like that. And then you have job fairs. Job fairs is campus-sponsored commercial professional. It's just a public job fair okay. It's a campus campaign. This. Campus campaigns are typically in universities, colleges. It's an educational institutions. Where you set up, and I mean your kiosk, and then the students come and apply for some job openings right. So you have the option, or you did advertising in a broadcast, outdoor or print advertising. So you can put them in, like you can put those information in, or it can be a referral. 
It can be an employee referral right. And website, a corporate website, Monster Talent Link, Tally of Business Edition. So this can be there as well, or it can be TV media, where you are advertising using radio television, right? So what is the source of the pre-hire? That is very, very important for us to record, okay. For future hires. Okay, now the contract. Contingent worker and hire employee tasks. Both allow you to hire, to rehire former workers. Now you can also rehire former workers. That is also allowed, okay. And contract contingent worker will help you to do what? To help you to bring in a contingent worker. And hire. Employee task allows you to hire. I mean to get a worker as an employee. So there are two different tasks that we will use. Contract contingent worker for contingent workers and hire employee for employees. Now, both of these tasks will allow you to rehire former workers. Now users with the appropriate security permissions will be able to select a former worker during the contract or hire process. Now, not everybody will be able to contract a contingent worker or a hired employee for a former worker. So to rehire former workers, there are sometimes some legal implications. Okay, so only we will rehire former workers. I mean, not everybody can do it, only some specialized people. Please do like, share, and subscribe to our channel. For more information, contact us at sales at the rateuptalk.com.